Okay, so what made you decide to come to Honduras? You were a, a sophomore in college. What made you decide to come here? And you have been here a year and a half. So tell a little bit about your experience, what made you come, what's made you stay, and then I'll go from there. Okay, well, um, I, as I was finishing up my sophomore year in college, I was just really impressed by, um, we had mission weeks at school where they would Skype different missionaries that were out in different parts of the, country, of the world and um, they would just do different testimonies, a ton of the old uh, missionaries that had been out. And I was just very impressed by that and I started praying a lot and thinking a lot and my major is elementary education. So praise God, I just need to get a four year degree and I can start teaching. So I thought more about it and I was like, you know what? I think it would be great to take a year off, um, go do something. I've never really been on a real mission trip, so I would love to do some kind of mission work. So that's where it started with, with these mission weeks at school. And so I started praying, and one of my heroes is Mother Teresa and all her work that she does with um, orphans. And so I was like, you know what, I would love to be a mother to kids who don't have a mom or for a period of time. And so I started looking for different orphanages around the world and we found Reach International. And I had two friends that were here at this orphanage a year before. So I got to see a lot of their pictures. I got to hear a lot of their stories. And so I decided to apply to Reach International. Well, to make a long story short, they accepted me throughout time. And then I thought I was gonna go to Africa. She made it seem like I'm going to Africa. But the last minute, she was like, we don't have any directors to Africa, so you can't go there. So, but we really need help in Honduras. And I was like, okay, God, well, I guess I'm going to Honduras. And so he opened up all the doors, and I came here August 15th, um, 2014, right? 2014, yeah. and um, yeah, it's been amazing ever since then. Um, I went home around Christmas time, and as I went home, it was weird, because I was only home for a week, but I just had a, I was thinking about the kids a lot, I was praying for them a lot. And so as I was praying and thinking, I was like, maybe, I was like, what would it be like if I extended my time here? I was like, I don't know. And I, I kept it in my mind, my thoughts. I started praying about it. And I was like, okay, God, listen. I was like, if you want me to stay here, you are going to have to ask the directors to ask me to stay. Because I need to know that is your plan for me to stay here. So I was like, I'm not going to say anything to anybody here about me wanting to stay. It's going to be your will. They want me to stay. They're going to have to ask me to stay. Um, so to make a long story short, the school year started. They gave me the English teaching job as well as taking care of kids in the yoga. At that time, I had five girls. And um, I thought maybe this is the time the teacher, the principal would sit down with me and ask me to stay and teach. But she didn't say anything. So I was like, okay, God, it's time for me to go home. But all of a sudden, a few weeks later, the director came and talked to me. And she said, listen, Miley, I was talking to the other director, and I need to have a word with you. And I honestly was scared. I thought I did something wrong. I thought I was going to have to go home early. But she was like, no. Um, we really appreciate the work that you do here and we want you to stay longer. And so in that, that incident, I started crying. I was like, you don't understand, I've been praying about this and I, this is God's sign that he wants me to stay longer. But I also didn't know how long that meant. I don't know if that meant maybe up until the end of the summer and I go back to school or what that meant. So I prayed about it more. I talked to my college, I talked to my parents and praise God, my college was 100% okay with me up until December. I didn't have to raise any more money. I didn't have to register for school, nothing. Nothing, it was completely taken care of. So God opened the doors, and that's how I got here, and that's how I'm staying here. One of the things that I know about you as your mom is that you, this was very much outside your comfort zone. Yeah. And I know, I think, um, can you share with them a little bit about what your affiliation with like leadership and those things that you've learned throughout your life that you feel that has blessed you in your decision to do this? Well, something that has blessed me with the team and this life leadership is that since we were little girls, we were always around people. There was always adults at our house. There's always kids at our house. So we grow up around a different type of people. It was always diverse in the amount of people that we knew, that we met in our church, just all over the place, and especially with life leadership. So that helped me as well growing up learning about the different personalities, growing up learning about the different love languages, growing up, uh, everything that my parents have taught me is from life leadership. So just with growing up around people and around personalities, that has helped me so much 
as well with being able to deal with these kids here, getting to know, okay, this kid does this because of this. This kid is all over the place because he's an eye personality or within that zone. So with life leadership and being around people my whole life has helped me so much with me, with my interactions around people and with knowing people and not judging for them for the way that they are because I understand their personality. So through life leadership, that has helped 100%. And I praise God that that mom and dad had always, always had what, or I'm sorry, I'm can't speak English or Spanish anymore. Um, but they've always surrounded us around great people as well and forming relationships as I've also learned a lot about through life leadership and the amazing relationships that they have had with their friends all these years. When you, can you tell the life leadership community a little bit about what's gonna be done with the money that you know so far that we've donated? Tell them a little bit about yes, what's the good things is, that are A happening. lot of good things are happening. And um, it's absolutely amazing. I can't get the smile off my face because it's, ah, I can't even, God is so good. But we are building a whole new wall for where our little girls stay. Where they used to stay, there was a big door in their room area, and it would, it would I mean, before, it was definitely easy to break into. You could break into that thing really easy. And the wall, through the termite, termites here, it started to crack open. So we, you could actually see a little bit out of, uh, outside. So what some of the money that you guys have donated has been through repairing that whole wall. And right now, it looks amazing. They put two new windows in there. Um, for vent ventilation, is that for ventilation? <laughs> and I, like I told you, I'm sorry, it's English and Spanish. Um, so they put a whole new area in there and it's gonna be 100% safe for our little girls. Um, we are gonna be able to buy uniforms for our kids. Um, I hope in this video you'll be able to see pictures of some of the uniforms, but the, we reuse them every year and the girls haven't had a chance to get new uniforms. Well, through your money, we're gonna be able to buy new uniforms for the school kids this year. Um, we're gonna get it. We're gonna. They're gonna have a very good Christmas this year as well. They're gonna. You guys are gonna buy a lot of mm -hmm. nice toys, coloring books, balls, cars. They love everything, as well as shoes. School shoes is something that they use every single day here. So when you use something every single day, it starts to wear out. And so, with buying new school shoes as well, that is gonna 100% help us out. Um, can you tell us? Stop for a minute, though, and then we can.